Well, good morning. My name is Christine and I am a caregiver. I want to thank you for joining this channel and I'm here to give caregiver support and to wish you well and encourage you that uh, you're doing a good work and if you listen to the support that they have online and that I give here on this YouTube channel, I pray it will help your journey go a little bit easier and more joyful. Well, today we're going to be talking about caregiver support and dealing with um, family members, strife, and uh, friends and uh, nosy neighbors. <laughs> <laughs> Mostly this channel is a uh, positive reinforcement for you, but knowing and uh, being a caregiver can be a very stressful, stressful job. And we know caregivers outside the home, we know that you are honored and supported for it being a job, but this channel is for you too, to listen to and support, but mostly it's for in-home domestic caregivers, taking care of your elderly loved ones or a spouse can be very, very, very daunting. So I'm here to encourage you, as I said already, and we're going to be talking about strife, dealing with strife, family members, and nosy neighbors. <laughs> When you take on the role of a caregiver, and especially if you're the primary caregiver or sole caregiver, you will have to deal with, maybe not you, but in most cases, you will have to deal with other family members and other people. So what you're going to have to do is, as stressful as your job is already taking care of someone, you're going to have to stay focused. In some cases, you are going to have to go no contact. Yes, I said it. No contact for your sanity, for your peace, for your stability. Okay? Don't feel guilty if you have to cut off some people, some family, some friends, some relatives who don't understand your work, don't have a clue about the struggles you go through, the joys you go through, the downs you go through, the ups you go through, the round and round you go through, the 24 hour on the clock worried about another person, thinking about another person, helping another person, and they don't get it because their life has not been turned upside down, up and around and around, <laughs> especially in the beginning. But it can perpetuate, especially in these days and times. It just seems like more people are into um, smear campaign and strife and lying. Now, if you're doing something wrong, let's correct that. But if you know in your heart God has called you, you were chosen, okay? Yeah, I talk about God. I have a doctorate in ministry. That's why my channel is Dr. Christine Renee. So even if you don't believe in God, if you were the one to step up to the task, you have always probably been the one. <laughs> okay? But all of a sudden you're in this cesspool of chaos and division. And it doesn't have to be that way. But people are people. Remember that. You love them. You forgive them, but sometimes you will, as a caregiver, for your sanity, for your peace, you will have to go no contact. Because some people, no matter what you try to explain, they will think your intentions and your motives are wrong. You can be a caregiver and give up everything, your livelihood, your uh, job, your friends in some cases. Because you have to work 24-7. Not 24 You know what I mean when I say 24-7. You're living. You, you, you know, they, you're, you're the person you're taking care of lives in with you or you live in with them. For your sake, for your health, 
It may be children, your own children, who want to stir up confusion. You can't have that. <laughs> I'm sorry. It will cause more stress. I was listening online uh, to some um, speakers. They said more caregivers have heart attacks, get on drugs, die early, stress and depression because of the weight of the job. And, you know, like I said before, I don't know why it's so stressful. But you're dealing with everything, all the issues. They're, you got to take them to the doctor. You got to make sure their health is right. Make sure your health is right. And it's different from being taking care of a child, even though you are caregivers too. Uh, because a child, in most cases, unless you know they're not uh, challenged or physically challenged or you know mentally challenged, they progress. But when you're dealing with an elderly parent or person or spouse, they digress, digress. So I want you to be encouraged. If you have to cut off nosy neighbors, nosy family members, and when I say nosy, we're, we're talking about people that are concerned, genuinely concerned, it's okay. But when we're talking about people that are trying to control, manipulate, and dominate your life, You can't have it. It's too much stress. Only one person in the pot. And if you want helpers, then so be it. But don't come bringing strife and confusion, okay? That should be your mantra for now. Because it can be very... The person is not even in the grave, so to speak. We, we're, we're caregivers. We're talking about life here. But I'm saying everyone goes by the grave. And you know how much confusion... Uh, Go, go by the way of the earth. And you know how much confusion and strife that can cause in families. You know, when somebody dies, a loved one dies. So right now, while you have the patience, and if you have the, the, and if you have the, the wit to it, don't take it. It's too much. You're already dealing with your challenged or sickly loved one. For your mental health, for their mental health, for peace in your in your environment, your home or their home. Don't take the bait of strife. Don't take the bait of confusion. Because people can our people. I've always been one. Always. You know, of course we all can be kind of tendency to be nosy and concerned or want to give our opinion. But I have always been one. To mind my own business. Work with my own hands. And I study to be quiet. So I want you that are in situations where you're trying to take care of your loved ones. But it's so much strife. So much division. I mean life is already stressful enough. And if a person comes to you and they talk to you like you're a child or they try to manipulate situations, you need to let them go. It's called no contact for your health. You can't please everybody. You're not going to be able to. Everybody's not going to be able to agree with the way you do and run things if you're the primary caregiver. You have to stay focused. No neighbor should be telling you how to run your household with your children, caregiver. So therefore, they should not be trying to tell you. And the point is, the ones that are doing all the talking haven't done diddly squat for their loved one properly or for you. And now all of a sudden, it's a cis pool of strife. But know this, that we all have an enemy. You have to love the people, forgive the people, but know this, that God that has performed a good work in you, you're trying to do the best you can do, be the best you can be, and you know the enemy is mad. He wants everyone to be confused and strife and bitter and angry. And here all of a sudden, you're trying to make the best of a situation that you were thrust into. And so we want you to know the work that God has begun in you. He will complete it. 
And then it's another scripture I like. It's in Galatians. I don't, I can't remember. I didn't write it down, but I know it's in Galatians. It says, do not grow weary. Hold your head up. Keep plowing to the plow. Do not grow weary because the work that God has performed in you, he will complete it. And he says, if you do not faint, you will reap a harvest. Okay? So get rid of strife. If you have to, go no contact. That means don't call them. And if they call you, let it go to voicemail. And if it's important, you'll find out about it. But you can't, can, people, some people carry strife and you can't keep living in that environment. Okay, I have to go. I kind of went long on this one. And I just hope that you guys have a wonderful, wonderful and blessed and prosperous day. And your journey as a caregiver uh, will be blessed. Uh, we have support here for you. And I'm just starting out on this channel. So I ask that you please subscribe. And that you please uh, hit the like button and share because people need this information. I've been watching videos online and I haven't seen much. I just seen much about, you know, a little bit about self-care and a little bit about, um, I mean, I'm sure it's out there. But being a caregiver, you have to take care of yourself, your mental faculty. Because we have an enemy that comes to steal, kill, and destroy. Okay, on a good note, remember you're doing a good work. I know it's hard. I know it can be challenging, but hang in there and have a blessed and wonderful day. Goodbye.